embark on a journey through Tren Maya, Mexico's monumental mega project. What makes this engineering marvel the country's biggest? And how will it reshape Mexico's landscape and future? Welcome viewers to a deep dive into Tren Maya, Mexico's most ambitious mega project that's reshaping the nation's fabric. In this video, we unravel the grandeur of this colossal endeavor, exploring the engineering marvels that make it Mexico's biggest project to date. From its vast scale to its transformative impact and connectivity and landscapes, join us as we navigate through the intricacies of Tren Maya, illuminating the profound implications it holds for Mexico's future. Let's embark on this journey together and discover the magnitude of this monumental venture. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Lux Elite, and hit the bell icon for our future videos. Now, let's get started. Nestled within Mexico's expansive jungle, a rich habitat housing millions of species now faces an imminent threat. The serenity of this diverse ecosystem is in jeopardy as progress manifests in the colossal form of Tren Maya, a high-speed railroad. The ongoing construction carves through the jungle, disrupting ancient connections and obliterating numerous revered Mayan sites. Despite being presented as a grand regeneration plan by Mexico's president, Andres Manuel López Obrador, this endeavor sparks intense resistance, sparking vital conversations about the preservation of culture, environmental consequences, and the recognition of indigenous rights. In the southern stretch of Mexico, the Yucatan Peninsula unfurls its captivating tapestry, a lush jungle blending seamlessly with pristine white sand coastlines, tracing the enchantment of the Riviera Maya. This sought-after destination, cradled by millions of annual visitors in its tropical embrace, reveals more than just contemporary allure. It harbors a profound historical legacy as the ancient Mayan civilization's heartland, adorned with awe-inspiring structures, epitomized by the majestic Chichen Itza Pyramid. Amidst this paradise, a unique challenge emerges bridging the opulence of Riviera Maya's resorts with the secluded splendor of remote Mayan ruins, setting the stage for a journey that transcends both time and terrain. Presently, traversing this historical journey demands a three-hour bus ride navigating winding roads, underscoring the spatial and infrastructural gaps that exist within this captivating region. As tourists seek to bridge this temporal abyss, they encounter a journey where the price of progress and convenience is measured in currency and the cultural and historical richness of the landscapes they traverse. The monetary cost of a bus ride, a mere facilitator of this cultural odyssey, plays a part in this narrative, reflecting the tangible expenses required to navigate between the modern extravagance of Riviera Maya's resorts and the ancient allure of Mayan ruins. In this dynamic interplay between historical marvels and contemporary comforts, the Yucatan Peninsula weaves a tale of contrasts. The ticket prices become not just tokens for a physical journey, but also symbolic representations of the economic and cultural investments required to traverse the temporal spectrum encapsulated within this unique Mexican locale. The journey becomes a conduit for exploration, not only through space, but also through time offering travelers the chance to witness the evolution of civilizations while navigating the modernity that envelopes these ancient wonders. Introducing Tren Maya, an ambitious high-speed railroad spanning 1,500 kilometers through the dense heart of the Yucatan jungle. This expansive project seeks to forge a connection between the pristine beaches of the Riviera Maya and the historical Mayan ruins. Beyond the well-trodden paths, it opens doors to lesser-known treasures such as the vibrant yellow city of Izamal, and the fortified marvels of Campeche. Lopez Obrador envisions the Tren Maya as a catalyst for economic rejuvenation, as tourists traverse the region, spreading wealth to impoverished and less accessible areas. The project, initiated in June 2020, faced skepticism given its original $7 billion estimate, a figure that has since skyrocketed and could reach $25 billion by completion. In the clash between ambition and public sentiment, the grandeur of the Tren Maya emerges as a divisive force, sparking a discordant note in the hearts of Mexico's populace. A recent survey unveils a stark reality. Nearly half the nation opposes the colossal rail project. This resounding chorus reflects concerns beyond infrastructure, centering on the potential harm to ancient Mayan ruins. Archaeologists face the daunting task of deciding which ruins bear testament to history amidst constraints that jeopardize the delicate balance between preservation and progress. Against the ticking clock, archaeologists face a high-stakes game prioritizing decisions with echoes through history. Protests surge, voices rising against the perceived sacrilege of historical site destruction. This conflict isn't just physical, but a battle for the soul of the Yucatan Peninsula. This region bears the weight of a cultural legacy etched into its very soil. This discord manifests in protests, a symphony of dissent, 
where the rallying cries of preservation clash vehemently with the inexorable march of progress. The air is thick with tension, charged with the impassioned pleas of those who seek to protect the tangible remnants of a glorious past against the backdrop of construction machinery that symbolizes a forward thrust into the future. In the crucible of decision-making, archaeologists find themselves under immense pressure, navigating a treacherous path that demands they decipher the hieroglyphs of historical value within an impossibly short time frame. The clash over preservation isn't merely a conflict of ideologies, but a battle fought in the trenches of time, where every ruin bears the weight of a decision that echoes through the ages. The trend Maya, conceived as a symbol of progress, now stands as a lightning rod for dissent, sparking a profound debate about the cost of progress, not just in monetary terms, but in the intangible currency of cultural heritage. As the battle lines are drawn between progress and preservation, the Yucatan Peninsula becomes a battleground where the echoes of the past and the aspirations of the future collide, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape and the collective consciousness of a nation. At odds with its environmental groups intensify the opposition, decrying the already evident deforestation. Almost 150 hectares cleared, equivalent to 200 football pitches. The Calakmul Biosphere Reserve, a vital ecological area, faces potential division by the railroad. In 2021, the Mexican government granted the trend immunity from environmental regulations, sparking protests from Greenpeace and other groups. Officials prioritized the project over ecological concerns, arguing for people over the environment. The repercussions include evident deforestation, clearing almost 150 hectares, equivalent to 200 football pitches. The Calakmul Biosphere Reserve, a crucial ecological area, faces potential division by the railroad. Beyond historical and environmental costs, the Tren Maya controversy fuels debates on societal impact. Lopez Obrador's vision for social justice collides with dissenting views. A crucial point of contention arises from alleged violations of international law, proceeding without prior consent from indigenous communities, an essential legal requirement. The communities assert that the project, ostensibly aimed at regeneration, predominantly favors the affluent and foreigners, jeopardizing their well-being with the specter of displacement and eviction. Petitions, protests, and legal challenges reverberate as desperate attempts to halt the relentless advance of the Tren Maya, but it bulldozes forward undeterred. The discord deepens, casting a shadow over the once unifying vision, as opposition gathers momentum against a backdrop of unresolved tensions and a nation grappling with the consequences of progress at the expense of its indigenous communities. The looming question persists. Should Tren Maya be built? As it aspires to unveil the wonders of the Yucatan Peninsula, to tourists a paradox emerges. Will visitors still be drawn to a region scarred by ancient ruins' destruction, the spoiling of its pristine jungle, and the displacement of indigenous communities? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, show your support by giving it a thumbs up, sharing, and subscribing. Your support is appreciated. Comment your thoughts below. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video. Goodbye.